47, this is Diana from Agency. We're all happy you're back doing business for us. This mutual arrangement we made to rescue your friend and mentor, Father Vittorio, means you will have to take care of a number of Mafia members residing at the Villa Borghese, where he is kept hostage in the basement. Prime target is Don Giuliani. Security is not exactly lax. Plenty of guards roaming the mansion compound. However, don't expect to free Vittorio just like that. The Don is running a tight ship, and if alarmed, he will probably kill the hostage and escape. They're used to people coming to pay respect, ransoms or bribes, but they are alerted by unusual activities. Check out the map we have of the grounds, Buena Fortuna 47. Welcome to the first real mission of the game. I'm Coet and this is Anathema. We have three possible options of infiltrating the Villa Borghese, well aside from, you know, shootouts. Uh, and this guy is one of them, he's the postman and um, we can basically take his clothes after we uh, sedate him or uh, fiber wire him because he brings flowers to uh, that guy, Don Giuliani. And yeah, he's pretending to play golf, but he has no balls. <laughs> yeah, that's why he has all of those guards. Um, the second option is using the delivery boy who just entered from uh, Prima Fornitura, which I think means for furniture, but he has like groceries and stuff. Anyway, the third option is this guy. And I prefer this option. Yes. Because his, uh, his suit will uh, allow me to access pretty much the entire villa grounds. Let's uh, get him inside because there's a guard patrolling out here and uh, he might see he might see him so take his gun, his clothes and we are inside. Yeah, it's very important to walk in this game, especially when you are in the line of sight of uh, enemy guards. Because this is the hardest game as far as uh, the speed meter goes. Um, you just need to be a bit close to uh, the guards and they will immediately start to freak out. Like that guy over there. The suspicion meter is already acting up yeah and hey whoa well, that's weird the dude ran I guess he he how did he know I was oh man I don't know I this is just weird Let's just hope he doesn't alarm anyone. And that's just weird because, you know, he, he doesn't even... Uh, oh, look at those guys. They're taking a leak together. Yeah. So that's weird because that guy isn't even, you know, part of the, the, the staff here. So what gives? Yeah, this is the Don's office and he has placed a plank for us to gain access to his uh, balcony. The Don is not inside at the moment, but we do get to see some nice, um, very nice uh, reflection effects. Uh, and I'm just going to pretend I'm guarding the pool while keep keeping an eye out for uh, the Don. Oh, there's our friend. And those guys finished with the, you know, manly business. Let's uh, let's do this now. <laughs> yes. Look, those guys are just walking outside. They're chatting. They have no idea what's going on. Now I'm going to have to move the body out of this place because uh, his friends, well, his his bodyguards and stuff are going to uh, come into the office and uh, 
walk around and uh, even on uh, the balcony so I have to move him on the other side of the roof where uh, they will be unable to spot him but those guys down there are uh, currently um, looking in this direction and if I tried to uh, move him right now uh, I would be spotted so that's really not a good idea instead I'm just going to wait for them to leave Come on, guys, just go and, you know, take a leak together, compare it to sizes, and... <laughs> yeah. And actually, if we kill the guy in white, we can get some car keys, which uh, we can then use to um, escape in a car. Because there are two possible escape routes. Oh, I, I heard a door. There are... Two possible escape routes in this mission. One is uh, back uh, the way I entered the mission, there on that hill, and the other one is by car. Okay, those guys are going in. This is my chance. Yeah, come on! No! Come on, dude, come on. Let's do it. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it. Yeah, he even has fish in the pool, which is <laughs> weird. And just in case you're wondering, yes, it, it is possible to kill the fish. Okay, now. Let's go and... Yeah. Let's go and see what's going on over here. Hmm. Nothing much. Something interesting is that in this game, uh, the sedatives uh, have a time limit. Come on. Yeah. Oops. Okay. I. I. There we go. So you need to keep the mouse button pressed in order to administrate a higher dose of uh, anesthetic anesthetic and um, if you don't the guards will just uh, wake up after a, about a minute or so so right now we had five minutes to uh, to uh, do our dirty work oh man did I did I forgot to pick up the key I hope not this is where they keep no, no, no! I forgot to pick up the key. Okay, don't panic, don't panic. Yeah, I'm sure you saw this coming, guys, but... Yeah, this is just so tense, you know? Especially on this difficulty level, because... Um, you know, the, the guards are just so paranoid about everyone. Well, not everyone, just you. <laughs> so let's... Let's try to get back up there. Yeah. Oh! Look, what is that guy doing? Well, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, he was... Let's say he was stretching a bit. Yeah, see, so that's what I meant uh, by... Um, the guards... Uh, actually seeing uh, the body okay Diana he's not in the basement they must have moved him 47 this is Diana from agency you're probably right recent satellite footage suggests a priest being dragged along by four bearded Russian looking types in uniform Hmm, Google Earth, huh? This is the car. Which is locked because, yeah, we don't have the key. No, 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 no. No way. No! No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back, dude. Get back. I'm trying to take the sniper rifle with me, but this guy is just making it hard. 
Come on, dude, get back. Oh, that guy will wake up. I just know it. Come on, come on, come on. Scratch your head and get back. What's wrong with you? Okay. Change of plans. I'm getting out. But not before I get my suit. Although, it's not really necessary, but... You know. I mean, you don't get penalized for leaving the suit behind, but... Anyway. It's nice. So, here we go. Let's see if we got Silent Assassin. Yes! <laughs> Silent Assassin, so um, we got the Silver Baller suppressed, which is awesome. Perfect. That's the way to do it. Silent Assassin. <sighs> We're back at the weapons shed, so uh, let's take a look at our new weapons. We have um, the Silenced Ballers. Yeah, the Revolver. Um... We have some bullets as well. Yeah, I couldn't get the sniper rifle, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, that's uh, the life of a hitman. You have to adapt. That's uh, the beauty of the game. So I'll try to get it in the next mission. We have melee weapons over here and some uh, <laughs> close quarters weapons. Yeah. All right, we will play with the piggies uh, very soon. But for now... Let's test our... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. 47, Diana here. Sorry that you've had so little luck at the mansion. It's really hard to tell where Vittorio was taken. We lost track of him in the airport. The agency does, however, feel that we fulfilled our end of the deal and expect you to comply with the terms by completing a minor assignment in St. Petersburg. Your objective is to take out an ex-KGB officer participating in a secret meeting, solely arranged so that you can take a clean shot at this officer. The meeting is taking place at 1300 hours today in the Pushkin building in Varazhnitsch Square. The room is on the second floor in the west wing, overlooking the square. The windows are marked on the attached image. The building is the former FSB headquarters and can only be accessed from the square. There's one main entrance and a back entrance, both heavily guarded by FSB paramilitary personnel. The target must be eliminated during the meeting, which is scheduled to last five minutes. Absolutely nobody in the meeting room except the target must be harmed. This is very important, 47. Upon arrival by Metro, you will find your equipment and paraphernalia in locker 137 at the station. Your escape route is returning with the train. Avoid all contacts with soldiers and guards. They are instructed to remove any civilians from the area. Okay. Yeah, 137. 1 plus 3 equals 447. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, uh, before most of the missions, we will be able to actually select our equipment. Um, I'm going to take uh, the kitchen knife, the anesthetic, and uh, the silenced ballers. Uh, you know, just for uh, just for uh, emergency situations. Saint Petersburg has seen its share of bullets and betrayal over the years. Not an easy place for a comeback. I suspect both guards and soldiers here are well trained and highly suspicious of foreigners. I have to rely on the element of surprise. They don't expect me. And if I keep it cool, clean and quiet, they'll never know what hit them. Now, let's find locker number 137. <laughs> 